Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you, so if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and please be a witness for that for over 200 now videos on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers, and some people not even subscribers but I still make the video for them. As always, just a like button, it's all I'm asking. Or actually, hold on a second. If you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, you want to learn how to do anything yourself without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. So every little thing I do create, I post it completely free on the channel. And not just random videos, it's actually questions and requests and issues that people have with their sub Shopify store. I do actually make the video for them completely free and I do provide the codes completely free as well. So it's a win-win situation. I'll let you decide it's your choice and I respect your decision. Just a like button if this video helped you out. If it didn't, just drop me a comment as I said. I will be happy to provide you the information you need in order to do the thing you're trying to do. And here I am again back with another requested video as always, which is how to add a custom button on the product page on your Shopify store. And by, what I mean by custom button is actually custom with the name. You can name it anything you want and you can set any link to it. You can actually customize the button as well, the background color and the text color and the phone weight as well. If you want it bolder, if you want it like italic or if you want it normal, anything you want. And we will do that again by using our own custom code. As always, we never use app for things like this. We always try to use our own code. So without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard in here. And they have here down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So every code I do share, or every video I do create, I do demonstration on down team. Because it's the most used one, also is the most requested one from people. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free Shopify teams, which is refresh, spotlight, taste, sense, and trade. If you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try my codes behind the scenes on all of these teams. So even if you're not using down team, using one of these should work for you just fine. And I just have to say this in the beginning because you're going to see me doing it on down team in the video. And you might be thinking, oh, maybe it's not working for the others. No, it is. It's working just fine. And here is your peace of mind. And by the way, this trick that I will show you in this video will work on literally every team as long as it's Shopify. So even the paid teams or the custom made teams, third party teams that were made like five years ago, it's going to work for them just fine because we're going to add a, our own custom code for their function, which is a button, custom button with a custom text on it, with a custom link on it and customizable for just from the code. You can customize the background, the text color and so on. So I will show you that right now. So this is the Shopify store where I will do the trick and this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks. So everything that you see in the Shopify store, literally everything that you see, I did it in tutorials. So if you saw anything here that you liked and you think it looks good and you want to implement it in your store as well, then just check out the channel because once it's here, that means that video is already done and posted on the channel. I don't remove the changes from here. I keep them so people can see them. But what I'm talking about in this video is custom button. Let's just access this product, for example. Oh yeah, make an inquiry button or a text with icon on top of the buttons, order on WhatsApp shaking effect on the buttons as well as this widget that's a random that shows random number of people are viewing this product right now and the number changes whenever i reload the page as you can see it will change based on the input you put in between 100 and 30 it will keep playing around with these numbers i did that in a video without using any ads by using our own custom code and I do provide the code completely free so what else you need man subscribe come on <laughs> I'm just joking it's your choice as I said so as I said we will add another button on top of all of these buttons again here will be a custom link uh, again a custom text and you can customize the background and the text as well so we will keep this page open do the trick come back and see it in action so get back to Shopify dashboard if you are already in Shopify dashboard click on online store teams and click on customize so now once you see me click on customize, you might be thinking, oh, it's already available on Team Editor. No, it's not. It's not available. As I said, we'll use our own code. So let me access some products from here to do demonstration. Yeah, let's just do it here. So we will add a custom button and this button will be actually in any section or any page. I'm just doing it on uh, the product page. So the first thing you need to do is you see this template on the left panel right here. 
and below it there is product information, text, tag, uh, titles, uh, price and so on. Scroll all the way down and you will see add block. Click on add block and you will see this prompt. Scroll down a little bit again and you will see custom liquid. Click on custom liquid and you will see this prompt right now on the left or right panel sorry. On the right panel you will see custom liquid on a section when you can paste in some code. And here we're going to paste in the code for our custom button with a link, with a customizable text, as well as customizable colors, background, and so on. And when you're going to get that code, you need to hire a developer, pay him with 24 hours. I'm just joking. Scroll down the description box. You don't need to wait 24 hours. And you will see a link named as code. Click on it, and it will take you to this beautiful page with this very short code will do the trick for us. And this code, again, is completely free. No pay, please. Not like that. So select the whole code. By the way, let me explain here. So you see the first thing is href. So href is the function for, for link. So in here, between the quotes, it says your custom URL, as you can see. So in here, you're gonna paste in the URL where the button is gonna be like, the button where you're gonna take the customers once he clicks on the button, obviously. And in here, it says custom button. This is the text that you're gonna customize to make it anything you want. Contact us or anything you want. So let me select the whole thing and I will show you in a second. Oh yeah, in here it says color. This is text color. I set it as white. And this is background, which is background color. I don't remember which color I did set here anyway. And this is the font weight, which is normal. If you want it bold, type in here bold instead of normal. And this is color. I think you're familiar with this hex code. This is called hex code color. If I Google this, let me Google it. Yeah, it's white as you can see. So select the whole code. Let me select the whole thing. Right click, copy. We will get back in here. Paste it in the custom liquid. And let me pick up, uh, like contact us for example. Let me pick this URL. Right click, copy. I'm gonna set it on this, uh, your custom URL. And make sure to paste it between the quotes. If you didn't do that, it won't work. So now if we click on save, let's just click on save. Here it is, I see it, it's blue. Okay, so it says custom button, as you can see, custom button, and it's blue background, and the text is white. As I said, you can customize this. I showed you where. So now we wanted to bring it up a little bit, maybe on top of this order on WhatsApp, or maybe below it. To do, do, to do so, simply uh, click on hold on the custom liquid, which is a button in this case, then drag it up. Maybe let's just on top of uh, byte now, yeah? And here is a custom button with a link on it. So if I click on save now, we will get back to our product page. Let's just get back to our product, which uh, any product actually will, will be, you know, any product. Here is custom button as you can see. And if I click on it, if I click on custom button, take us to the link I set it as, which is contact us. And as I said, this is on every page because that's the default product page that we did set as you can see if i click on it boom again contact us and that's how you actually add a custom button to your shopify store and you can customize it however you want if you have any questions make sure to drop them below but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one